everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, the Open Alpha. Down below in the comments or in the video description, there is a line for me that you can go sign up for it on your own. A lot of people are asking, it is only PC available as well. Uh, at this time, I believe they're going to be working on other platforms in the future, but right now, hey, it's PC because they're still actively in development. So today we're going to go back to the sandbox and... Uh, Go do some more viewer suggestions. We're gonna go on the Sahara today for for the first one, uh, and this one is going to be pretty cool. And they want um, Cody Noah says a tons of spearmen, no, a loads of spearmen versus tons of thieves. Now I don't really know. Ton is more of a, a unit of uh, weight, so we're gonna go with that. Uh, how many is that? Seventy one. Uh, yeah, 30, 171, yeah, I don't, I don't know, a bunch. Uh, like 60 some? 650, 56, 55, 57, 57, there we go. And then we're gonna take that, maybe 57? And then we're gonna do that against uh, the, some of the spearmen. So this is 40, we're gonna match up the price, and I wanna see how this goes. Okay, there is right there. Okay, that's good enough. Let's try this out and see what happens. I'm, I'm very curious on this one as well, on how this, these thieves are gonna do against these spearmen. My guess is that the spearmen are gonna skewer them right up front. Ooh. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, maybe so. Oh, get poked in the butt. He's gonna get poked. Oh, and there's dodging. Oh, they killed the first guy. Awesome. So how how is it looking? How's the battle line going? Yeah, it gets too leggy if I, I let go of the mouse. Watch this fight right here. Here it comes. Oh, punched him in the face. It didn't even look like he stabbed him. He just straight up punched him in the face. Here comes another one. Oh no, no, don't kill him. Oh, what did he ever do to deserve to die? These guys are so mean. Uh oh, here comes a good hit again. Uh huh. Poke him right in the right in the kidney. Didn't kill him. Just a kidney shot. You got two kidneys. You can always always use a second one. I guess he threw his his dagger. Where is it? Oh, he still got the dagger right in the belly. That's not the belly. That was lower than the belly. Uh oh. He's he's dead. Uh oh. Who's over here? Okay, this guy. This is this is Mr. Mr. Dagger Man. He's gonna come in here and he's gonna give him the old pokey poke right in the face. Come on, come on. You can, oh no. The spear tip, got him. So it looks like the spearmen are victorious in this situation. So this next one's pretty cool. Uh, it is using the super boxer as Bane versus the super peasant as Superman, and then see who these fight together. I don't really know. This one's kind of kind of weird because uh, the super peasant can fly around and the super boxer just kind of punches and punches and look at that. I love how fast his little hands go, pow, 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 and I have a feeling that the boxer's gonna win this one. I don't know for sure though. We're gonna have to see how it is. Okay. Oh, we got a nice chop and fly away. Comes in, tries hugging him. <laughs> I love how they just kind of just hug. Oh, the blue victory! I knew it. I knew that would happen. Do you see how he had his gloves to the side? So let's try this again with some more. Let's do like uh, five versus five. Maybe it was some sort of fluke, and we'll try five versus five. Two, five. That five? Sure. Good enough for me. It looks like five versus five. Okay, they're gonna come in here. Is that five? Yeah, that's five. And now, pow, 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 pow. Look at them. They can make popcorn with the fist. That's what it looks like to me. If you, you ever used one of those air popping popcorn makers, that's what it looks like to me. They're, they're popping popcorn and it's flying up in the air. Oh, they got one. One is down. Looks like they're fighting. This is a really good battle over here. This keeps one, two, left, right. Hook job, body shot. Oh, yeah. There. Oh, he's upside down. That's probably not the best place to hit him. This guy's fighting off two on his own. Pow, 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 pow. Okay, and these guys are totally beaten up. We got three on two. Is this guy dead yet? Nope. <laughs> That's awesome. He's just kind of sitting on top of him, punching him in. Oh, man. They have him. Oh, he's dead. That's got to be a killing blow. It was. Okay, now they're hugging. Um, you guys are on the same side. Wow. Wow. Okay, so these boxers are really powerful. I want to do five of the boxers versus one chicken man, man, just to see how powerful they are. I have a feeling it's not going to go very well because of all of the chickens and stuff laying around. Maybe they'll be able to, to do it. Um, it's just a matter of killing them over time because they have so many hit points So we'll see and they aren't gonna do any of the the extra damage of hitting the the regular little chicken man man down below Oh, they got him! Wow, that was a, that was pretty quick So they do do a lot of damage. That's awesome. Okay. This next one's a really good suggestion too is use one of every unit from before against uh, these dark peasants. So I did do all of the old units, except I didn't do any of the bonus units. I did do one of the chicken man, but I stopped with the chicken man. I didn't do the Hillary, the Trump, or the M16, because these are kind of, they're a little bit broken with the knockback. I left out the super boxers, the chicken man man, and the super peasants. So we'll see if this one guy can take out all of those. If it is, then we might add in a Trump or a, and a Hillary in there and see if they do anything differently. So this guy is first up. Uh, the only hope that I think we have for him is if he can get knocked down by the Hawacha and the rest of these guys come in and chop him to pieces. 
or if he gets hit by a ballista bolt. Ooh, and that ballista bolt totally missed. That guy lived? Did he live through it? No, he didn't. Oh, man, he just got one shot. Okay, here comes the chickens from the chicken man. And and now we have a serious problem. Okay, here, here it comes. This is it. This is the last chance right here. Come on, ballista bolt. Ooh, he couldn't do it. So you might need to add those guys in. So I added absolutely one of every unit. Oh, I forgot the M16. So I added all of these units in here. And we'll see if the one Dark Peasant can take out the entire army of all of the units. Okay. Okay, there is the Huacha. The Huacha took him down, sort of. It didn't hit him. Or did it? Oh, wow. He, he got totally rocked by Catapult Ball. That's good. Oh, he's getting hit by now the M16s. Now that is the thing that I'm thinking we might have to remove. Um, those M16 units. Oh, he just got killed. Oh, you got... That's Trump he just dominated. Wow. Okay, here comes the other M16. The M16 is really rocking his life. Come on, buddy. Oh, and it just had some friendly fire on that Axeman. But he got back up. That's good. Ow. <laughs> Never mind. He didn't get it up from that one. Here's the M16 fight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another catapult ball. Come on, dude. Hide behind the tree. Get some cover. You're going to fall off the edge. Come on, buddy. You can make... Oh, the red victory. Okay, that was cool. I want to remove... Oh. Is she going to continue talking? Sometimes she keeps talking. I want to remove the M16. Where are you is? Where is you is, M16? Okay, here's the M16. I'm going to remove Trump and Clinton as well. And we'll see if it'll go. So I do have... Uh, there is the Chicken Man Man here. This should be a decently fair fight. I forgot to check what the price was, but I think it'll be... Oh, look at the, cat the catapult in the back. Oh, and the chariot just got dominated. Okay, so he got hit a couple times. There's definitely a few arrows in him from the Huacha. And he just got rocked. What did he get hit by? What? What? I removed you. I thought I removed him. Uh-oh. Well, let's see if he can do it against this. Oh, what was that? That was kind of messy, whatever it was. Ouch. Are these chickens with the knockback. Oh, there's the ballista bolt flying in. Man. I really don't like that. Oh, what is, what's that chariot moving from? Oh, it's just the spearman. Oh, he died pretty quickly. Now, can he make it there? Oh, look at all the chicken, little chicken men coming in. He's trying to trudge his way through. Oh, there's the victory. So we're going to try it one more time without that that guy. Where are you? Yeah, without this guy. Somehow I put two of them in. So let's start it up again, and we'll just speed through it as quickly as we can. I wish I could try a different map, but the maps don't save, and I didn't really... Ooh, the chariot just got dominated. Okay, come on in. Oh, come... Oh, I thought that... I thought he could get a chop on him, but he did not. thought that uh, Viking could do something with his life. Okay, he's down. Oh man, how did the how did the axeman die? He didn't get impaled. Now he's coming in. Oh, there's the red victory. So they can do it. That's kind of a traditional army, a little bit in a way. Awesome. Okay, so this was an interesting uh, battle brought up. It was a, a bunch of samurai, so 50 samurais versus 20 of the M16 gunners. I'm gonna try it with one first. We're gonna see how this goes. I have a feeling that this single M16 gunner is gonna pretty much mow down the entire thing, uh, my entire line of samurais coming in, just because they have such range and knockback. They're pretty overpowered. They're, I mean, they're they're totally overpowered. Oh, unless they can't hit, and then they're in trouble. Uh-oh, he can't hit. Oh, he got wrecked. Um, wow, that didn't go as intended. Let's try a different map. Okay, we'll try this one again. So he's firing back again. Let's let's bring it up on this side. So he still he still attacks the closest guy, and it does look like he doesn't have the best range. Or the well, he's got great range, but he doesn't have great accuracy. Look at him spinning back and forth. The bullets going through. Yeah, I had a feeling this would be a little bit closer. Oh, he's missing. Nope, he's still doing good. This is like a kind of a, it could be like a very fun carnival game. You ever, whoa, what's that? <laughs> if you move your mouse just a little bit wrong. Oh, they're getting close. They're, they're, oh, Hillary's still talking about her emails from the last battle. Shoot, so if he gets overwhelmed, he did pretty good. He got a lot of them. But if he gets overwhelmed, he dies pretty quickly. I want to move him back. Let's try to move him back to the edge of the wall. And he's going to get people they come in. <laughs> Stupid Hillary talking about her emails. I need to reload the game after this fight. Okay, yep. All your emails. I heard that, Hillary. I heard you talking about your emails. Okay, so he's got max range now. They're coming in one at a time, and he's just moaning. Someone else is screaming. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, there, there's some sort of audio glitch in the game now. Okay, there it goes. Oh, perfect. I want to look from their point of view. How does this look? That one guy is praying and praying, hoping to kill the, the samurai army. Oh, we could do a real zombie apocalypse with this, couldn't we? How many? Oh, there he goes. He got them all. That's awesome. 
Okay, this next battle is a, an interesting one. I don't know how to go. Oh, I got a, I got a samurai in the tree. Uh, this is going to be 50 samurai and one samurai master versus 50 of the Vikings, 28 of the javelins, and then we have one axeman as the general for the Viking horde. I don't know how this is going to go. I feel like the javelin throwers are going to be pretty nasty. Oh, it's a lot leggier than I expected. Oh, it kind of came out of it. Oh, there comes the watcher coming in. Coming in hot. Oh, is it going to take him out? Is it going to take him out? That's kind of not looking like anything's happening. Oh, one got hit. <laughs> a couple guys are getting hit. Seems like they're just not spawning incorrectly. Huh, weird. I know there's some problems with things not rendering in if the game is a little bit laggy. So that's probably what's happening. And now here comes a Samurai Master. Chopping, chopping faces. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here it comes. Oh, did he get the kill? Did he get the kill? Oh, he's blocking his own teammate. Don't kill your buddy. Don't kill your buddy, buddy. Don't do it. Oh, no. Get wrecked. Get dominated, Viking man. He is out, I believe. Yes, his eyes are crossed. Here it comes. This is going to be the epic battle of epic proportions. It is the Samurai Master versus the Viking Axeman. If the Samurai Master can jump out of the way, fling around, and land on his feet. Oh, he can. He's like a cat. He's got cat-like reflexes. But now the javelin throwers have arrived. Can the javelin throwers take down the Axeman? Probably. <laughs> They're probably going to have a little bit of friendly fire right in this guy's butt. Watch this. And bonk! Right in the back of the shoulder. That's the perfect way to bear hunt. Yeah, it's, you have big dummy. Oh, here comes the Viking horde coming in. I need to remove... Oh, man. This is going to be messy. Sounds like things are squishy. Doesn't it? Like somebody's chewing on a bowl of noodles. Or jello. It's like slurping some spaghetti. That's what it sounds like to me. I think the Vikings are going to win. I think they are. Um, I'm pretty sure about that. There's only one little samurai left, and he just got squished. He's still alive, though. Get your bad self up. Oh, that guy. Look at this guy up here. He just got... <laughs> he kind of got him... He found himself on the wrong side of friendly fire. That hurts. That hurts just a little bit. Oh! Oh, we have one samurai hiding behind the tree. He is the last samurai. He will live. He will fight to the end to the bitter, bitter something of death. I don't know what words I'm looking for. Maybe not. He's just gonna... He's just gonna get an axe right to the heart. Yep. That was a good way to end for him. Didn't hurt very much. So for the final battle today, I wanted to put uh, a bunch of these barrel rollers together. Nobody has really been suggesting these or playing with these, and I think this is one of the most unique unique units in the game. So I was going to put, a, I have 50 of those and somewhere around 89 of the peasants, and I, I hope it works out okay. I also wanted to go ahead and put something over here that wasn't it. So let's just try, oh, should we go back to the, the Greeks? No, let's go back to the Crusaders. We're going to put a footman. We're going to put Dave the footman in the back. You guys have given some really good names for a name for the uh, dark peasant. Uh, some said Vlad, some said Clyde, another guy said Sauron and Saruman. I think those are all pretty good names. So if you got a name that you'd like to name that the Dark Peasant, go ahead and drop that down below in the comments. We're going to see what you guys think of that. And if you have any good suggestions of things you'd like to see, go ahead and let me know too. So I want to check this out. I think this is going to be pretty laggy. I hope it doesn't. I'm going to have to go slow motion so my computer can handle it. And I really, really want to see how a giant battle of of these guys go. And now they're just going to run over. That's all they're going to do. And then they're going to pop. Oh, here's going to be the first pop. Watch them go. So they're going to light off. Oh, that wasn't the first pop. Oh, there they go. They're on fire. And now everyone's just going to go on fire. And it's going to be a, a blazingly, blazingly, blazing time. Oh, explosions. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions as far as the eye can see. Okay, they're running in now. Oh, I forgot about that dumb rock. How that dumb rock? I, I hate that rock. <laughs> now we're going to have to watch Dave as he goes in here. Oh, are these guys rolling over? They are. They're rolling over their own rock. Now they're just going to walk on top of the fire. Oh man, that fire adds a ton of leg to the game. Look at that guy. All black on top of the rock with all his lightning and stuff going on. Okay, how's this look? I guess these guys are starting to get away from the fire a little bit. A big old charred pile of bodies. Ooh, that's not good. He's going to make it around. They're going to make it around. Where's Dave? Here's Dave the footman. Is he going to walk through the fire? He is. He's getting charred a little bit. Oh no. Get up. <laughs> he fell right before the battle of his lifetime. He just burned up. He decided to run through the fire. Now these guys are all stuck over there. That's not fun. We're going to have to change the map because I hate that big rock. Okay, so I switched it to the Japanese map. I put in 50 of these guys 
And, oh, I must have put a peasant over here. Or five peasants. There's something, there's something right over here. I don't know what it is. Oh, there's one. Okay, that's the day. Oh yeah, that's what the 50 points is for. Okay, so let's try this out and see how it goes. We've got a whole bunch of red barrel rollers. The barrel rolling army is coming in and attacking. Oh, I love it. I love it already. Look at him. He, he looks almost bored, doesn't he? Oh, there's the first explosion. Yes, and another one. Okay, they're rolling the fire on the ground. Let's keep that refresh and hopefully all of the peasants decide to walk over it. Yes, I love it. You guys have anything you want to see with the, these barrel rollers? I'd love to find out what you guys have in mind because they're so unique and such an interesting guy. Oh, there goes an explosion. There goes another one. We got problems. We got problems. So there is no explosions right here in the middle, except for those now. I guess they are explosions now. Can Dave, uh, Dave's gonna run through it. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, it's so hot. You're gonna get scorched like a turkey in Thanksgiving Day picnic. Yep, he's done. <laughs> I don't know, uh, I think, I think that the blue team is gonna win. There are too many. Why are you guys floating up here? You're not even super peasants. How can you float if you're not a super peasant? Guys, stop it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't know what to do now. Let's speed it up. Okay, they're gonna pop this one next. Boom, boom. Yep. <laughs> Good explosion there. I like that. That was very satisfying. These guys are kind of talking themselves in a circle a little bit. I don't know what their goal in life is. Um, they're slightly moving back and forth. And these guys are getting charred up nicely. Oh, the blue. What would a blue thing get charred up into? It doesn't make any sense. Like, a red kind of looks like a cooked turkey. Oh, these guys are gonna pop like a... Pop like a... Um, the firecracker. Yeah, I get dominant. Ooh, there they go. That's awesome. I love it when they blow up. It's so much fun. This guy, what's he doing? What happened to your barrel, dude? He's pretty much just given up on life. He's like, well, I've got a giant exploding barrel underneath me. I'm gonna get punched in the face, and then my barrel is gonna get exploded. Maybe. <laughs> he just even looks sad. Oh, he died. He didn't die from fire damage. He just died. Straight up dead. Uh oh, who's over here? We got a bunch of guys coming in. There is no hope for the barrel rollers. None at all. Maybe. Yeah, I doubt it. I doubt it. Because we still have a guy that's stuck back on the tree way over there. And they're going to come in here. They're just going to keep popping one at a time. And, oh, this one's on fire. So you going to blow up? I can't tell. Coming around the corner. Boom, boom. Yes, there is the blue victory. Oh, that was fun. Okay, I want to try the same thing again. I've got a bunch of the shield guys in here. I don't. Maybe I should add some more. I don't know. Let's add some more shield dudes in here. Maybe maybe a chariot or two as well. Ba boom. Um, yeah, I love these chariots. For some reason, they made them look like Santa Claus and his reindeer. So let's try it out. Okay, okay. Here it is. The giant army of barrel rollers. I love them. These guys are so neat. Oh, here comes. Oh, man, the shields. I figured the shields might... Might protect against heat, but it does not look like it. And it looks like the horse is gonna run right through it too. Or in this case, the the reindeer, caribou, whatever you want to call them. Dudes, you can't do that. Oh, it's hot. You're gonna get boat roasted, and then we can eat cooked reindeer. Oh, he's dead. One got away. One got away. He's gonna go take on Dave. And it looks like the entire field is now on fire. That was a pretty good battle. It popped like popcorn. So we still have this dude over here. This is Dave. Can Dave take out? Oh, Dave did it. Nope, Dave died. Dave was on the red team. Rest in pieces, Dave. I wanted to take one more look here and try to do it from a top-down view so we can see the explosion happen a little bit better time. Okay, it starts on the right side. Now, this is a pretty good explosion, I think. Oh, look at it go. It's trying to chain react on the right and the left. is starting to slow down. They're starting to pop a little bit now. Kind of making me hungry for some reason. Oh, they're stuck on rocks. This is going to be a problem. Ooh, that's a good explosion. And look at the deer way up in the air. Oh, his legs fell off. <laughs> that's awesome. And it looks like blue team has died. Except for Dave. Dave is on the red team. He's coming in. These guys down here are trying to get onto the high rock. I guess that makes sense. It's probably still hot up there. Um, now they're going to walk through the fire and fall off dead and go surfing. Here comes Dave into the fire. Dave, you don't want to do this with your life. You don't want to do this. Seriously, for reals, this... Oh, he's, he doesn't have a life anymore. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed our little time with tabs. Give me some more suggestions down below like you always do. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.